Yes, it's a cooperative board game. As you can see, the four main characters, Ludo, Sarah, Hogo and Sardidimus, basically adventure in the first part of the game around the labyrinth, trying to find the entrance to Goblin City, because obviously Sarah has to rescue her baby brother. So, going for the, for the labyrinth, you will meet creatures, uh, face riddles, and as you solve them, you will eventually find your entrance to the Goblin City. When you find the entrance to the Goblin City, then Jareth, which might have appeared earlier on in the, in the labyrinth to, to, to kind of make your life difficult, goes back to his castle, panics, calls up the guard. The goblins, humongous, fill the city and you have to fight your way through Goblin City to the castle of, of, the, of the Goblin King. There, Sarah will confront Jareth, and of course if you defeat him, then she, the player should actually really recite the spell <laughs> off by heart. Of course you can read it, there's a little obviously helping card for you, <laughs> uh, and if you do, then you win. And the important thing is, you have 13 hours to do so. There are 13 hours, I 13 game turns to do this, and so that, that keeps the game fast, a good pace, lasts about an hour, and uh, the game includes obviously these beautiful miniatures. The models are made, sculpted by Johnny Fraser Allen, and he also did the illustration for the, illustration for the, for the board. So all in all, a, a game that's been very well, very well received. People seem to love it as much as we do. How difficult was it to make a game based on a labyrinth? Oh, it was actually once we got to speak with Hanson about about the idea of a board game they they were absolutely on board from the start they, they loved the idea so you know it, and they are a very very nice company to work with they're very friendly very helpful so all in all it was just a, you know it, it, it just felt like it, we were talking about the right people at the right time it all came together a couple of years ago when we started to talk about this and uh, now it's been it's been a very good experience and I guess you were a fan already <laughs> Well, it's an understatement. I mean, this film, I saw it when I was 14, and uh, it kind of shaped who I am today, the career I've gone on, you know, making fantasy games for, for a living. So, no, it's, it's a, a seminal piece of art, piece of work for me, certainly.